what's good y'all and welcome back to the channel all right y'all so we about to get right into this install um i'm going to be doing a i don't know if i want to do a deep side part or if i want to just do a middle part i think i'm gonna do a deep side part like that's the look i'm trying to go for with this i want a real long like i just i don't know i want like i just want a real long deep side part i'm going to be using um some beauty supply store here i'm going to be using the Model Model Gardenia Master Mix Hair. I got this from my local beauty supply store. I got three bundles for $9.99. And I got body wave and 24 inches. We're also going to need your glue. Your glue protection. Please do not do a quick weave install without using any of these products. You can, but I personally, in my personal opinion, I don't think you should because this is what has saved my hair and protected my hair from me when I wear my quick weaves. This is a protective shield. It is a liquid cap and it pretty much acts as a barrier between your hair and the glue that you're going to be putting on top of it. All right, babe. So right now you see me going in to get my leave out together. I have washed and deep conditioned my hair. I'm completely 100% natural. And I have already also put some heat protectant on my leave out. Please always use heat protectant on your leave out if you have it. So right now you just see me making sure I know where my part is going to be. I'm doing the deep side part so my part is on the side. And then I'm also going to make sure that I have enough hair taken out of this leave out area. So that way I can ensure I have enough hair to cover the extensions when it comes time for me to cover them. Sometimes when people do leave out um, quick weaves, they don't leave enough hair out. So depending on the density of your hair, how long your hair is, definitely make sure that you have enough hair laid out before you start to mold your hair down. And now that I have the area that I want to leave out, I'm going to go in and braid that down. I am not a braider, y'all. I just recently learned how to actually do cornrows, like on a scalp. So I'm not a good braider, but I braid good enough to get my leaves out out the way. Now we're going to go in to braid the rest of our hair down that we're going to have tucked away and molded away. I'm going in with some jam. You don't have to use jam. It's optional. I'm just using that because it helps me with gripping when I'm doing my braids. But you can use whatever you like. I'm also going to go in to oil my hair and my scalp, y'all. Definitely don't forget to do that. And now I'm going to go in and this is step. It's optional as well. I just like to do it. <laughs> I'm so used to doing it. Spraying my hair down with some hairspray. You can use any hairspray. I like got to be because it's strong. And it just acts as another barrier protection for your hair from the glue. We got so many layers of protection. It's ridiculous. You can never have too much. Okay. Now you see me putting my cap on, which is the second layer of protection. And our third layer of protection, which is the most important layer. I'm putting on the Weave Wonder Wrap solution. This is a liquid cap. And I already explained what this does in the beginning of the video. But y'all, do not do a quick weave without it. I promise you, you gon' thank me later. So you pretty much want to apply this product anywhere that you are going to be laying down hair extensions with the glue on it. So any area on your head that you think that you may lay a track down on, use this product there. After letting that product completely dry, it, as you can see, it's like really sticky and hard now. So we're gonna go ahead and go cut that excess cap that we have off there. And you don't have to worry about your cap rolling backwards. As you can see, the cap ain't going nowhere. It is stuck to our head and you don't have to worry about it rolling back after you cut off the excess cap. You're good to go from this point if you do the previous steps that I just showed you. So now we're gonna get into this hair, guys. I have worn this hair before on my channel, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but for those who are new watching this, this is some affordable beauty supply store bundles that I got from my local beauty supply store, and I paid $9.99 for each bundle. And this is synthetic hair, so I don't keep my synthetic hair in my head that long at all. I only keep it in my head for like maybe a two days to three days four days max 
after that it has to go because it starts to get tangled and matted and i just can't deal with it no more so yeah so anyway just see me going my quick weave again if you are a returning babe you already know my method i just measure my hair out to my head in a u shape um measure it out and cut however much i need using my fingers as a gauge apply my glue onto the weft a nice thin layer and then i go and i add that extension onto my head using pressure as i press it up against my scalp to make sure that it is adhering and getting sticky to my head so i'm going to pretty much watch you let you watch me do this because it's better i feel like visually to see it versus me explaining it because i'm terrible at explaining as y'all can see so i hope this was helpful guys and i love y'all and i will see y'all in the next video i have some very special things coming up for all of us on this channel and i cannot wait to announce it and talk to you guys in an upcoming video so i'll see y'all in the next one stay beautiful blessed and please stay safe out there about the hair y'all again this hair is from my beauty supply store and i paid 9.99 for per pack i got three bundles of 24 inches and this is the master mix hair so it's a synthetic blend you can put heat in it for up to 400 degrees but i wouldn't even recommend doing that because again it's synthetic hair it's not worth all of the time and trouble if you want though be my guest now that we have completed installing all of her bundles we're gonna go in and get this leave out together a lot of y'all be so pressed like girl you didn't show the leave out and i'm showing you sis i got you i'm sorry i got you so with my leave out again i'm 100 natural so i use a number of different products to get my leave out to blend and to get it to stay that way so you see me put on a wax stick and that was my Kara Kara wax stick now i'm going in with my babyless pro flat irons okay titanium get you some good flat irons i like to use titanium plated flat irons on my hair because it, it gets my hair the silkiest as you can see everybody hair is different products work different but i guarantee you that flat iron will get it get the job done and don't forget your heat protectant and don't forget your wax stick and then also you see me using a hard bristle brush small sections and use the chase method with the fat a uh, uh, rat tail comb or you can use the brush as you can see i'm going back and forth between my brush and my comb to do the chase method and flat iron my hair after i flat iron it with the um comb i go in with the brush to like kind of just let it sit in let it cool and let it get silky so that is my method y'all i hope i explained it well but i'm going to continue to let y'all watch so y'all can see what i'm doing And this pretty much completes the look guys i'm so sorry i did not get any footage of me done up with the completed look um i don't know what happened i don't know if i lost it if i just didn't record it but i did get some footage of me finishing it at the end you will see the hair four days old and this was the day that i took it down so this is four days after i did my install so i hope you guys enjoy this stay beautiful and blessed <laughs>